Discover how the Word of God can bring a change in your life through the teachings of Bishop Eddie Addy. Bishop Eddie Addy is an assistant to Bishop Daniel Mills and serves as the resident bishop of the Macarius Church. Anointed, energetic, and a practical teacher, the servant of God will inspire you with practical teaching of the Word of God that will refresh you, energize you, and bring healing to your body, soul, and spirit. Now, to the message. Can you tell seven people, read your Bible, pray every day. And ask your neighbor, are you one of those that we can knock on your door, we can call out your name, we can ring your bell, but you will never rise up to pray. Are you one of those? What's your neighbor saying? He's one of those. Ask him, how come when I call you for flow prayers at 4 a.m., I never get you? Your phone is switched off. Your data is off. But tell him that from today you are changing. Now we can knock on your door. Tell your neighbor we can knock on your door. We can call out your name. We can ring your bell. Call your phone. Text you. And you will rise up and pray. Because you have become a prayerful believer. Clap your hands. Oh. Clap your hands and, you know, show some excitement in yourself. Look, check out seven people around you, whether they are happy or not, and tell them that, look, we are in the house of God. There is liberty here. There is joy here. We can rejoice here. We can be happy here. Come on, clap your hands together and scream. How many are in the New Believer School? New Believers, please pick your Bible, your bag, come forward, and then we will take you out to the school and give you some beautiful washing in the water of the Word. Where are the New Believers? New Believers in the New Believer School. This way to my left. The Lord bless you as you go. The Lord help you as you go. May you become knowledgeable. May you become experienced in the word. May you be somebody who reads your Bible and prays every day. So you can grow thereby. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Please be seated for a few seconds. I'm going to make an announcement by the scriptures. Beautiful. Good to see you all too. You are blessed. May you live long and prosper. May the Lord give you new things every week. New dresses. New shoes. New bags. New phone. New iPad. New wallets. New money, 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 money. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The other day, a brother just said, oh, he wanted to say hello to me. Then he said, oh, but I want to just bless you. So me, I thought it was a blessing greeting. So I was looking up, not knowing that the blessing was down. So I was looking up at him, and then he slipped something like this in front of me. So as I was looking up, something had come down. Hey, when I looked down like this, I saw new notes. May the Lord make you have new notes, new currencies, currencies that have not entered your palms before. God will help you to find some in your hands. Shemin semu pounds, shemin semu dollars, shemin semu Canadian dollars, 
Shamin Samu Swiss francs. Shamin Samu Yuan. And what else is there? Shamin Samu Euros. Beautiful. And Japanese is what? Yen. Yen. Japanese yen. And Korean what? Korean what? South African what? Rand. May you experience them. Please sit down. Shamin Samu. 200 Ghana CD notes. Because some of you have never handled Ghana CD notes before. It's like if you are handling Ghana CD notes, it's one CD, two CDs, five CDs, ten CDs, twenty CDs. Your best that you have ever handled commonly is 50 Ghana. But God is blessing you, shifting your levels. There will be 100 Ghana CD bills come on in your wallet, come on in your purse. 200 CD notes. You see, somebody is saying that God is changing your levels. If 200 CD notes, five of them get missing, you won't notice it. It, it. it won't change anything in your life. You are so blessed that when even 5,000 gets missing, it, it, it's not something you even think about. Yes. It hasn't occurred to you that you've lost. Somebody say, ah, who's, I, I saw some bag here with 5,000 CDs. Is it yours? Then when you look at it, ah, oh, it's mine. Ah, okay. All right. But it's not like there's a revolution or some meeting is going to go on or some cases are going to be released. Who has taken my 50 Ghana? A Christian will look at what you are, what you are saying. It's because oh chow ain't on 50 CD notes. But God is changing your level. You are climbing up to the next level, beyond the next level, to the third level, to the fourth level. And to the fifth level, God is blessing you. Clap for Jesus if you believe. All you need to do is to just believe. Because you will experience it practically in your life. There are brothers here. They are more than 30 years old. By the power of the Holy Spirit you are going to get married by the middle of next year your wedding date is secured your wedding colors are secured if you know know any 30 year old receive it for him there are going to be more marriages in this church I see a 23 year old lady 23 God is blessing you with a beloved who will marry you within the next few months you will see that you have become a missus age 23, 24 23 crossing over to 24 beloved come 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 Dubai for honeymoon Say amen. God is blessing you. Please sit down. Don't be afraid. All these things are going to happen practically. Now this week we are starting our fasting and prayers. Mid-year. Mid-year mid fasting and prayers. Mid-year. The middle of the year, 21 day fasting and prayers. Don't never tell yourself when you fast for 21 days that you have finished fasting and praying for the year. Or that the church has given you fasting and prayer, you have finished, so you won't fast again to the end of the year. We want you to be spiritual. We want you to grow. If you want to grow, the song is telling us pray every day and 
And do what? Read your Bible. Reading is the way of the Apostle Paul. Reading is the way of great men. Reading and reading your Bible is the way that great men have gone. Small boy. Oh, kind Bible. Oh, yes, I bet. Hey. Hey, ask the nearest small boy by you that. Are you the one Bishop is talking about? Where is he? Where is he? Lift him up and bring him here. <laughs> small girl you won't pray you won't read your bible you are watching Nigerian movies by the grace of God you have changed from today you are going to love prayer you are, love, you are going to love pray 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 you are going to love pray. Keep on pray. Say amen. amen. You are going to be praying. You are going to be crying unto God. So this week is all training. This month, this season is training. Prayer training. Not just praying to finish prayer. We are training ourselves. We are exercising ourselves rather unto godliness. The Bible says exercise yourselves rather unto godliness. And, and praying or pray is the exercise. Say amen. amen. Tell your neighbor, read your Bible. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Say amen. amen. Acts chapter 4. From verse 23, the Bible says, And being let go, they went to their own company. Somebody shout, company. company. They went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth. And the sea and all that in them is. Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers and so on and so forth. And the Bible says uh, in verse 29, he says, And now, Lord, behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servant that with all boldness, the boldness they might speak the word, thy word. By stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they speak the word, the word with boldness. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said of any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own. So here, right here, you see um, a group of people... Actually, uh, um, Peter and John, they were threatened by some authorities that they shouldn't preach in the name of Jesus. They shouldn't do all these things that they are doing. And then they went to their own company. Do you see? So every Christian must have his own company where he can go for prayers. So this week, we are doing your own company prayers. Yes. Your own company. And why am I saying that? Because all these are types and ways that you develop a good and a healthy prayer life. You have to learn how you pray with others. You have to learn how to go to your own company where you don't join people to pray. Sometimes when you're on your own, you can't pray. How many understand what I'm saying? How many have been there when you couldn't pray for one day and one week? And sometimes one month, you can say you struggle through the month and prayer has not happened properly. How many have experienced that before? Lift your hand. Uh -huh. Now, when that happens, your surest safety is to be with others who are praying. And that is why they say um, a Christian is like a coal of fire, which is in a coal pot. 
Is that how they say it? Co-pot? And then when the fire has been put in and all the coals have, have been lighted up and they are burning hot, when you take one out and put it aside, not with the others, it, it starts to fade. The fire starts to fade and then dims and then it dies out. And you can pick that coal and hold it with your hand and it will not burn you again. Why? Because it doesn't have its own company with, with whom it is bonded. So the heat that is from this coal and from that coal and from that coal and from itself has now disappeared. You see? So what happens is that there are many Christians who are not on fire for God because they don't have their own company. Do you see where they go for prayers? Do you see where you go and you are sharpened? And your lack of prayer and your prayerlessness. And even, even when you are praying, you can see that you can't lift your voice beyond a certain decibel. So, so whispering songs. No, you don't feel what you are praying about. And then you don't also know what you are praying about. Then the whole thing, your whole prayer experience is very difficult. But when you are with your own company and they say, we are praying, shall we pray? You force. You do well. Are you listening to me? So this week, our own company will pray on WhatsApp, will pray on Facebook or whatever area, then we will pray in person in our own company. So when you are let go, find your company from tomorrow morning at dawn. Somebody in your company will be on WhatsApp, on Facebook. And those of you who don't have a company, you are, your Christianity is very shallow. Yes. I'm telling you. Why your uncle when you are not strong too? Hmm? And when you are alone and you are praying, what are your prayer topics? My beloved, my husband, my job, my this, my that, my money, my this. It's like you don't have any topic beyond your little body, the world of your body, your continent, your body continent. Do you see? And that is changing from today. May God help you to change that. And this week, you are in the basenta, you are in the center. We are praying there. They will ring your bell. They will call your phone. They will alert you. It's time for prayer. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't turn and, and pull the is there a cloth somewhere? You pull the cloth on top of your head and it's like, oh, me, I'm not the type who prays at dawn. Now I have a lot of things to do in the daytime. I cannot pray at dawn. Yes, you cover yourself and then you go to bed. And some of you, you don't know that. You don't, maybe you don't believe that God can affect your life. But he, he can. He has the capacity. Yes. Pray because, look, what did Paul say? He says, um, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. Why? So that you'll be able to withstand in the evil day. And you think that there's no evil day. The Bible is not a, pro- a pro- prophetic prophecy of Dumo. It's how life is. Yes, somebody says, life happens. Life happens. Yes, it it is what it is. It's like life. And you you are in life. Catherine Kuhlman said, if you are part of humanity, there will come a time in your life when you need a miracle. Yes, if you are part of humanity. Unless maybe you are an apparition or a phantom. Yes, or some kind of mirage or an alien from... Maybe some outer space. Or maybe, you know Thanos. Have you heard of Thanos? Do you know Thanos? Do you know Thanos? Go and watch Endgame. Avengers Endgame. Yes. 
Yeah. I, I, or you have not watched Avengers before? Because <laughs> Nigeria movies now nah, here. Who <laughs> Avengers? I want tears here. There's an, an evil man, a very strong evil man. He's called Thanos. Yes. Maybe you come from his world. Because I don't think he prays. <laughs> I never heard, saw him praying even once. Thanos. I don't get the message. <laughs> yes. Yes. Are you there still? We are here, sir. Once you are part of humanity, you will come to a point where you need a miracle. Yes. So, uh, baby, be chill while you so. Yes. Something will happen in life that you can't. All your logic cannot fathom it. All your money cannot solve it. All your connections cannot help you. There will come a time in your life where you will recognize there is something beyond what we can reach physically. And God is that one who can help. There is an evil day. Everybody in this world has met one before. If you haven't met one, brace yourself. There is a day of evil. Bible calls it, so be strong in the Lord so that you will be able to withstand in the evil day. It's Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13. Take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. But when the evil day comes, you will be shocked that you want to kill yourself. When the evil day comes. You will be shocked to know that you, 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 you are so happy looking everything, very nice and happy. You will be shocked that you would like to drink poison and end your life because you can't handle this evil day. I can't stand this evil day. Have you heard that statement before? I can't stand this. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. That's what he's saying that. Pray so you can stand and withstand. Yes. I heard Bishop the prophet say recently, he said, pray in tongues a lot because it, it covers Praying in tongues covers areas your mind cannot even reach. And, and you can't know how, you can't know what, you can't know when, you can't know why, you can't know where it is coming from and what it is that is coming. You can't know. And it's not that you are not a man of faith. No. the Depo said there was a time where his wife was afflicted with a particular sickness and she was almost dying he said he prayed all he could pray and she was still going the man the man of faith he said he prayed and prayed they did everything nothing was changing then he came to a point and declared to god god if you never answer my prayer and return my wife you are still my god he says you don't know my heart for god you see, you don't know me till you know my heart for God. It's like how I follow God is not because of something I get or I have. He said, I told God, if you don't answer another prayer, you are still my God. God turned the battle around for him. Yeah. But there is an evil day that comes. He says, a, a, a boy deceives you that I'll marry you all. He says, you are my only sugar. Then you go and discover that he has brown sugar. He has white sugar. He has um, uh, sweetener. And he has honey. And molasses. Hey, you are shocked. And you tell hey. <laughs> me. I can't stand this. I can't take this. That's what he's saying that you can't take because in the evil day, there are things you may not be able to take. But when you have become strengthened in the Lord and you have put on the whole armor of God and you have armed yourself with all kinds of prayers, you will be able to withstand and you will stand in the evil day. Yeah. 
That's why some people think that when something happens to you, it's like God is against you, so you, you shouldn't follow him again. Or that God has disappointed you, you shouldn't mind him again. You see, it's easy for you to even say what I'm saying that some people say that. Because sometimes when you are in the crisis, and you are in the in the we you, the evil day has come and you are it's not that it's somewhere the evil day is somewhere and you are looking at it but the, you are you are in the evil day and the evil day is in you i tell you that time it's not easy it's not easy but you see in the midst of that you have to remember that there's an armor for you as a believer and in that armor is included all kinds of prayer Praying with all kinds of prayer and supplication in the spirit. If you don't learn how to do that, the day of evil comes. You see, even sometimes there's a day of evil, you can't pray. <laughs> you don't know what I'm saying. Well, some of you, you are young, so you don't even understand the things I'm saying. Well, when you are young, you don't go for many funerals. Yeah. When I was young, I, I was not going for funerals. I, I, I wonder, my father said, why come that he has funerals to attend every weekend? My mother, my grandmother, my aunties, they have cloth, different kinds of cloth, and ones that they sew for specific funerals. And cloth that they have collected to match the funeral people and sympathize with the family. And I couldn't understand it. Because, you see, when you grow older, you see so many things. And some of the evil days, they are natural things. Because nobody lives here forever. So by all means, somebody will die. You will see it. And sometimes the death is young and or sometimes the death is old. But whichever way it comes, you have to be able to be a strong person. So we are not saying, we don't come to church because we want to meet our friends. We come to strengthen ourselves. And we come so that I don't know what is coming. I don't know. I mean, when the prophet's son died, it's not something I've seen before. When my friend Bishop Saki's wife died, it's not something I've seen before. These were all shockers. Yes. But, like Paul said, none of these things move us. Now, if you don't know God well, you don't pray well. You will not end well. Anyway, I was making the announcement, but I've added it to my preaching, that everybody must have a company you go to so that when you can pray even on your own and you know that at least this week, our company, we are praying together. You join it. You do what? You join it. Call your company, pastors who are leaders of companies, call them together. Link them by calls, by text, by whatever means possible, personal callings, everything. And call your company together. It's a week of prayer. There are prayers we are going to pray this week. They will secure you in the next 10 years. Yes, they will keep you in 10 years. You will be able to stand in 15 years. You will meet something Seven years from now, you meet something that is a shocker. It's a, it's a, it's a mind-blowing, jaw-dropping, flabbergasting experience. <laughs> and you will be, you will be standing. Yeah. Even some people will hurt you that you didn't expect to be hurt by. Will you stand? There are people who have fallen low and down. Giving up relationships, giving up jobs, giving up things they do for people, things they, they just give up. So I'm tired of, as uh, somebody said, sending birds out that never come back. <laughs> One pastor said he's tired of raising pastors because he's tired of it being like Noah, sending out birds that never return because Noah sent out a bird. To check whether there was land and the bed never came back. Then he realized that the bed had found a place to rest. But will not come to tell you that I found a place so you to come out. So he just deduced as the thing didn't come back that there's now, we can now go on land. So sometimes when you, you invest in people, you help people, you bless them and you are kind to them. You see that they return with evil. Yes, with insults. 
what will you do? Will you stand? From that, I say, I won't help anybody again. I won't, I won't do anything with anyone again. I'm tired of relating with people. When you, you, you share prayer topics, then they think that it's you. Then they go and paste things on Facebook that, hey, you will never, you will never know that is true. You never know that people are suffering, but they look nice. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Small prayer topic we want to raise in our own company. Some people too like Konkwansa and post it on their WhatsApp status. Konkwansa post. Hey! Not all that glitters is gold. There are some people who may be wearing canary yellow. But inside, they are experiencing darkness. <laughs> canary black. <laughs> Instead of canary yellow. You see, that all shows our immaturity. And because we are not used to praying with people, we don't even know how to hear prayer topic and just pray on the topic without thinking too much. And thinking rather about yourself. When you be bomb by no bomb prayer topic, and now Udi 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 ne nam. Hey, me nimse girl, your breasts are. My worry ane say. Hey, we shen we shen the Brazilian hair not enam no him 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 him. Say ane abona su. Because she came to say small that we should pray about what she's experiencing. Oh oh, can cut your face. Especially the girls. You are not a mature Christian if you are just into gossip. Do you know that this girl, and you know that that girl, and you know that this one, and their beloved is there, and they are not even happy. You should see them. When you see them in church, you see that they don't really sit at the same place. One sits here, one sits there. Have you ever seen them sitting together before? They don't really flow. You are talking like a witch. You cast a spell on the relationship so that it gets destroyed. Anyway, you people, your time is finished. I don't know whether I can even preach, but this week is your own company. So at dawn, in the afternoon, between dawn from 4 to 7, 6 or 7, if on, Monday, on Tuesday flow prayer comes in, we just flow with the flow. Yes, we all join. It's like that is our prayer for that yes. season. Yes. And your fast, you can break your fast up to 12 or 2 or whatever. But that is not the point. The point is that we are doing an exercise. Are you doing some or not? Yes. As you are full of eating food every week and every day. Why can't you set aside your breakfast and your lunch small up to a point? So you can engage God even when you are working and you are weak. It's part of the exercise. Yeah. Afflicting my soul. David said, the psalmist said, I afflicted my soul with fasting. Afflicted soul. Debbie, I know I am alive. Now, when you are dead, don't don't. Ain't you know? Hey, cha 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 cha. Hey, 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 when you are fasting, there's no strength for a laughter like that. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? What is funny? Voice no cry, Dibisa, what is funny? No, it's not coming. Before you are going to laugh, quack, 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 quack. Komo de wa. Laughter, no, it's measured. Hey. <laughs> You measure your laughter. Energy no no so peace. I na ode ode waya when you are jia. Uhuri uhuri. Before you realize, ambulance is coming for you. <laughs> One guy was fasting. I think I don't know. He, he himself was fasting. It was not a church fast, and he he collapsed. Yes, he collapsed. Oniya huadi. So they came. Cried. They wanted to give him malt. He shook his hand. No, no. Water. More be saying the fast. The energy crowd to say the water, it wasn't coming. Water. As somebody says, water. Yes. 
water. It helps you. It's good for you. It will be a blessing. So how many are joining this week? Joining my own company prayers. And then we end with an all night on Friday. Not end, but Friday night. All night. Here. How many are coming here for all night? We are here for all night. Hey, how many are coming here for all night? Um, pigeons are on. Yo. Tonaho. Ebusuya for pewa bose kwajudo. Yes. Omo peso omo do tibo football. You can get headache, and the headache is not correct. It's not from paracetamol. It's not because you don't have paracetamol in your house. The headache is because some people are using your head as a football in the night. You imagine your, your head that they are knocking po na no be about tay no be my show. It's like hey, this your one head that is standing there is moving like this. So you are asleep like this, but in the spirit it's moving like that. Yeah, boss shot. No be a boss. No, I should go. No more the better circle. No more the cock corner. No more two corner. Hey, this is your head, though. When you wake up, you say hey, she. I can't. My head is really. I've got a migraine. You call it migraine. You should call it witchcraft soccer. <laughs> and you don't believe in such things. In the realm of the spirit, things happen. But when we pray, we also enter the realm of the spirit. And whoever wants to, who has worn her football boots and has, wants to put your head down, no problem. We put the head down. Play it and let's see. Play, play, the, play the head. Then the person will go back and kick. <laughs> kick and let's see. When the person kicks, she won't make any noise. Because what will meet her foot? You can't scream. But the type of pain that you will experience for trying to hit my head that has prayed and contacted heaven and you are trying to use it to play soccer. Ah. One day in secondary school, there was light off, and some, a young man, he saw something round, and he knew that it was a soccer ball. So he ran towards the soccer ball, and he, when he ran, he ran, he ran, and then he, he hit it. Bam! The soccer ball didn't move. The guy screamed. Ah! The scream could be heard four houses away. And what had happened? He had kicked a shot put. Yes. The senior one. The, the shot put, there are two. Small one and then a big one. So this was the big type. And he thought it was a football. And it's, I don't know, I think it's made of steel or something. So it's very heavy. And uh, they throw it like this, as in sports, short put. And that's what he hit. So it didn't move, only his leg. That's what will happen some witches in your house. And witches around. Who want to use your head for a soccer ball? God will deal with them in a way they have never seen before. God will bless your life. Clap your hands and celebrate the Lord. And I want all of us to come for this all night. Yes. And God is going to bless us. Okay. God bless you. Please be seated. I have about 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to use it to do something small. And then maybe during the all night, we'll pick it up again. So let's look at some prayer topics. Important prayer topics. We can pray. And we must pray. Number one, pray to love God. Pray to what? Pray to love God. Or if you like, you can also say, pray to be a God lover. In Matthew 22, Verse 35. The Bible says, Then one of them which was a lawyer asked him a question, tempting him and saying, uh, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, 
Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Beautiful. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So this is the biggest area Jesus prescribed for us. That we must love the Lord is the greatest commandment. It is the, um, is there a song like that? Is the child of God something? Is the greatest commandment, child of God something? There's a song like that, isn't it? You must love the Lord because he's the greatest commandment, child of God. Da, da, da. Something like that. There's a song like that. Well, we have a song like that. Yeah. This is the greatest commandment. And most of us don't have natural love for anyone. We are mostly selfish. Sister? Yes, please. Thank you. It's working. Even see the person you can see is not easy to love. Hmm? Husbands you, you, you lie by Wives you lie by Brothers you have in the house Sisters you have in the house It's not easy to love them Whom you are seeing How much more Someone he says he's there But you never see him Even look God eh, you can go and You can scream Pray uh, I've been praying I've been praying Maybe let's say I got born again in 1976. So let's say I've been praying from that time. I've never heard God respond like physical life. Then God will say, I never heard anything like that. It's like I just have to believe that he can hear and he is there and it's good that I'm praying. That I just have to believe it. I've never heard anything. So never. Not even a cough. When I read the Bible, I say, the voice of the Lord is like the sound of many waters. Maintain that. The sound of many waters. Maintain that. Since 1976. Hey. <laughs> the, when I heard his voice, it sounded like the voice of a trumpet. Maintain hey. that. Trumpet, I met him. The boy, Then I hear. But say nyanku pon pa ne voice aba it sounded like the voice of a trumpet. Minti bi dawo. That's why one of my favorite scriptures is First Peter chapter one verse eight. It says, "Whom having not seen, ye love, and though ye see him not, yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory." It's like you haven't seen him yet; you love him so passionately that you spin, you run around with with unspeakable joy, full of glory, full of joy. Who who need that? And so that would don't know. I say, well, who know? And I would name na who so so ni muna over fina no na. Oh God, oh Jesus. Oh, me who need that? Yet believing, <laughs> believing. I pray. If you are waiting to see before you pray. You will stop praying. That's why most people have stopped praying. They, they stop. They don't pray. So pray to love a God whom you can see. But whom you can love passionately. I've been a Christian for so many years. Serving the Lord and working in the church. Now I have a greater passion to love my Lord, God made the sun, the moon, and the stars. God is so great, yet He seems so far. When I talk to Him, it seems like He doesn't even hear. How can I love God whom I cannot see? This is my my dream, the goal of my life. 
So take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. All my days I give to thee to love you, Lord. To love you, Lord, is the great command. Lord, I want to love you more. Fall in love with you so deeply. Show me how to love you more. Uh, I don't want to serve without loving you. Oh, any man really love the love me. He will keep my commandments. Lord, I am meditating on your word so I can love you more. Lord, please help me to keep your commandments. What have you told me that I'm not doing? Where have you sent me that I'm not going? Am I holding back? Hey! How? Sacrifice all for you. Loving you with all of my heart. So take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. All my days I give to thee. To love you, Lord, is the great command. Lord, I want to love you more. Fall in love with you so deeply. So show me how to love you more. Oh, I don't want to serve without loving you. Oh. Oh God, thank you for loving me first And also for choosing me first I want to love you back As hard as I can Cause you love me so I want to be just like Jesus He who loved his father so I know that I have not seen and ear has not heard the things that God has prepared for those who love Him. Ah, that is why I want. I want to look. I love you more. So take my life, hey, and let it be consecrated long to thee all my days I give to thee to love you more is the great command Lord I want to love you more fall in love with you so deeply Lord show me how to love you more Oh, I don't want to serve without loving you. Oh, getting closer to you, and I'll keep loving him till the end. One day I'll be called a friend of God. One day I'll be called a friend of God. Yeah. Very powerful. I've been a Christian for so many years, serving the Lord and working in the church. But now I have a greater passion to love my Lord. Now you have to pray that prayer. Yes. You, you are just praying that the beloved you have found will love you more. But pray that you too know. God who has found you, you, you will find you loving him more. Pray for yourself to love him more. Because you shouldn't, love, you shouldn't want to serve God without loving him. But that's the key that makes people unable to serve well. 
Into obi and chase with forms, obi and chase with uh, meetings, uh, titles in crate and assessment and various meetings after services and so on. Oh, yada. Now, yeah, Kurana, you did just say, Nipano, Abba, Abekas, okay, do this. No, I, yeah, even if it's not working, you do it. Uh, then you say that, oh, no, I can't say me, yeah. Last week, no, I can't say me, yeah. My, yeah, I'm working, but, oh, no, I can't say me, yeah. No innovative, it's like your mind, that's why I say, love him with all your soul, which and, and, encapsulates your emotions, your intellect, ability to think and reason and intelligence. Have you your cognitive component? Yes. God is also appealing to your co- cognitive, yes, yes, and affective components and faculties of your being. A man, Kwan, a Munim, so do Dobema. Into the bed, oh, me, 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 small boy, small girl, me, 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 and also me, 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 you rejoice with joy. It's like you are wild. Like you're wild. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Pray for your love for God. Um, in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 5. Yes. I, I, I'll just stay with this. I'm going, the rest is, is, is coming. Are you there still or you've gone home? Yeah. He says, and the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God. And into the patient waiting for Christ. This is not there. So most people's hearts are directed into politics, directed into um, soccer. Young, 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 young boys can spend the whole day, you know. Or sorry, yeah, or check his course, or check who is playing, or check who are the players who have been, uh, who are who are going to play that day, and who are on reserve, so that he can bet on a particular. Player at for at a particular time, soccer bet, soccer bet as well. Oh, small boy, oh, yeah, soccer bet. Eh, Mrs. Small boy, oh, yeah, soccer bet. Oh, we're here for Munyan in my Munyan Eddie, Munyan Emra. Hey, oh, yeah, soccer bet. Eh? Obe joining rap stars, no? O ti ho no mo na wa joining soccer bet. O so awo we ni. E na o si ka nyina esa. E na o bobosia, e dia ya soccer bet. Quick loan from MTN. For soccer bet. O nya juma bia, you don't have a salary. You don't have a regular income, everything, but you are into soccer bets. Because your heart has been directed into soccer. Your heart has been directed into Nigerian movies. I mean, into, into series, into movies. You are, there's no latest movie you have not watched. Including the one that they are going to... BB Niger. BB Niger is who? Big Brother Niger. And I think that big, big brother is 24-7. Yeah. So with TV, see, so screeny. Oh, yes, it's like the people are asleep, you are watching them. You are trying to check what 
this one will do when everybody is asleep. When they are in the shower, you are watching. Now two people are falling in love. They are in the shower. Now Christian brother, only a quiet time. Oh, and I will share BB Niger. Nigerian boy, Nigerian girl. In the shower. And you can't see them well, but it's like you have to look. I see, ah, is that the boy is here and the girl is here? Hey, what are they doing at this time? I can see his leg is moving. Where is it going? He, I can see his hand. Is that his hand or his? Is that the girl's hand or the boy's hand? I can't see where. I draw. Hey, they are in love, pet. Hey, now I don't come because uh, it's like this type of love. No, you feel you feel the love. Bibi Niger. And the Lord direct your heart into the love of God. Must be your prayer. Lord, direct my heart into your love. Lord, steer my heart away from soccer. Steer my me. I watch soccer. I watch golf. I watch soccer. But it cannot be the first love of my life. Yeah. I also read sports news. I read news, but it's not, no. I'll put it as a, if there's a life soccer, I don't even, even tension no cry sometimes when I'm supporting somebody. Tension no cry and me. Why? Loving God, all my heart, all my soul, soul, all my emotions, my feelings. Men from my soccer. Now, old soccer, ah, hey, oh, I'm here, I'm saying, you go for it. Go! Ah, I call a sample, a sample. It's like you have become like a commentator. And you can't, you will never contribute to the selection of the players. Adam Krana, Debia, De Jordan, Otimisha go about Sebo, Omo Yini Frim, Obo Treno, Oya Yidodo, Kakran, Oya Tofo, Oh, this boy, dear. You, all your emotions are in the soccer. So when you come to church, there's none for God. There's none for God. You don't, have, you don't have any, hey, this guy will go to hell. Oh, oh my God. Ah, this girl, hey, I've been praying for her. I don't know why. Oh, my father, I'm praying for this. All that emotion you've put in the soccer. Otimisha soccer soon. Chelsea way. Most, 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 Manchester, Manchester, dear, Manisho Nukrasa. Asena, dear. You are not deciding. I won't stop. Maybe support us in a bill. Who sent you? Who sent you? Do they know you? Do they give you some of their money? Let your heart be directed into the love of God. I want to love God. I want to love just like Jesus. He who loves the Father. So I want to love just like Jesus. He who loved his Father. I want to love God like Jesus. Love God. Now sorry, I'll He says, I don't want to love. I don't want to serve without loving. You serve. You are in rap stars without loving God. You can be in dancing stars without loving God. You can be in the choir without loving God. You can be in the Christians without loving God. You can play instruments without loving God. You can even preach without loving God. We have to pray our soul. We have to pray that when we are loving God, it's not just the mechanical one that, of course, we are supposed, we know that we are supposed to love God, but we, it's not passionate. There's no feeling. So, well, there's no feeling. Obi Ma Raps, sister, I want you to know that you are beautiful, eh? Hey, you are beautiful, and then uh, I like you, eh? Will you marry me, okay? Will you marry me? No. You want the one who comes with a little. He just looks at you then. He just looks at you then. He's, he's not saying anything. I said, what? what? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I can't keep my eyes off you. Hey! Wow. Sometimes I just wonder how God can make such beautiful creation. <laughs> and then you want him to, when he's saying that I love you he has to lower his voice 
and put some little baritone. Rich baritone. Hi, baby. More perhaps need be your home. I'm preaching the word of God. Yes. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, he says, In the last days, perilous times shall come. Men shall be lovers of themselves, heady. Brother, we are reading all. Covetous, boasters, proud, disobedient to parents. And th- you disobey your parents because you are in the last days. That's why you disobey parents. Unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. So this is where the first prayer is for the greatest commandment. Yes. The greatest commandment. And as I've been a Christian for so many years, but now I have a greater passion to love my God. Familiarity can catch you as a Christian. It's like you, you are used to coming to church. Sunday is church, so Sunday you don't miss. But you are not going because you are, your heart is full of love for God. That's why you should pray about it. Spend a lot of time every day praying about it. My heart will be directed, will be channeled. So if, if my heart is going like this into politics, those of you who are into politics, always listening to arguments which are not true. Some of the people who come to talk, what they are saying, they know it's not true. But they have to find a way of talking so you can believe them. I mean, you can imagine NDC came. Some of the things they said, they never did them and they didn't do them. And they themselves became happy and rich and left. MPP came. They didn't do that. Some of the things they said they would do. They did one, two, one, two, one, two, the rest, normal they child buying. And then the rest, they ate it. Yes. When the next campaign was coming, they came back with similar promises. We are going to do this. We are going to do this. In our manifesto, in our manifesto, the manifesto of our NDC, of our MPP, is going to be powerful. We are going to, look, all Ghanaians are going to have their women, their chicken, and their booze. When they come, this one is increased, that is increased, that is a, never has have our prices ever gone down. Even sometimes when in the world market things are going down, our prices never go down. As soon as some, a price reaches a certain point, it will be there or it will go up. Never comes down. And you can say, the GT, GDP... I said GTP, GDP, GDP, I said GTP. The GTP, I said the GTP, the GDP of the, this thing is going to be in, 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 in whatever. The balance of trade is not that one thing as yet. And so, with you. Because they know that you like such things. Now, what do I come and coach him? Now, MPP, the own. I'm going to do how much that? MPP. Huh? I don't need Ghana. Oh, as for MPP, NDC is the real party for the country. NDC. Ah, Jack. We were here when they were also here. And somebody says, I don't know the difference. They are all the same. Until I close my eyes and put my thumb somewhere. Wherever it lands, Umbra Nyanko. So brothers, let us pray for our hearts to be directed to love God. Jesus taught us to pray about so many things. When you take the Lord's Prayer, there are six different components and different areas God wants us to pray about. It's not, the Lord's Prayer is not giving you a prayer to pray per se. Of course, you can recite it if you wish. 
but it cannot be your only prayer. It's a, it's, he gave it as a framework, like a, a kind of formula. They are in sections. Section one, our Father which art in heaven. It means you are coming based on relationship. And within the relationship, there are many things in it. In the relationship is not one-sided. Oh, there's a God. He must bring me money. He must bring me beloved. He must bring me. When I need, I go to him. It's not like that. Say, like our father, my children don't relate with me on the basis of what I give them. Although I give them a lot of things. My grandchildren are not going to relate with me on the basis of what I can give them. Even though I am posted to spoil them. Hey, KFC. ice cream joints. Oh. toffee mama say. Yes. Hey, chocolate. Oh. Me ana menu ya me dead da. at a point I have to stop, but omo di omo afi no start. As soon as I cry me aye no fofro. These days dentists have come they can remove and replace remove and replace me ya mo munyina kama kama oh what do you want eh is it cake let's go i will take them in my car mo me enko near the cake ya to toffee as they are eating toffee they are eating ice cream oh eh na me ni o munye ya ko eyi uh, Mary go run yet. Now snow muye de de. Now me ni o muye hey hey. No me ni gra eh eh. G pass, G pass. Now me ni a G. Now me ni a G. Happiness. It's my posture. Oh, they should grow and grow a bit. I, I'll spoil them. The stop it, stop it. I'll leave it for their parents. Me jaya fe a me ni na me be ya stop it, stop it, stop it. Ja 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 ja. You will be happy if you're my grandchild. Oh. I'll dress them with jeans. I'll swim with them. We'll go under the water. The parents say, hey, are they not coming out? They should come out. Oh, they will dress. Hey, hey, stop it. We are, we are, we are diving. Then they'll come at them. Oh, 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 J-pops, J-pops. Oosh, oosh, oosh. I say, take your time. Once I'm here, you are not drowning. I'm going to spoil them. Pa, 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 pa. But even though I, I will spot them, their relationship with me will be based on relationship. And not just, hey, grandpa gives us stuff. Grandpa gives us this. At a point, it will also come to an end. You can't come to God only when you need something. That's why Jesus put it at the beginning. Our father. That, those, that, that particular way, our father, it means you are supposed to have, have a relationship with God. That's why you are coming. And there are different things. See, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It calls for worship. It means worship God. It doesn't mean that every day you come, our father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our father which art. Which is, is because when you go to heaven, you see that the four and twenty elders and the six beasts, when they are worshiping God, they say, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. How come they don't say, uh, Hallowed be thy name? Hallowed be thy name. Because the Hallowed be thy name is one of the things we can use to honor him. So Jesus was not giving us just Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed Abba. He's also glorious in holiness and fearful in praises. Yes, he's the awesome God. He's the glorious God. He's a merciful father. So the hallowed be thy name is giving you a framework that hallowed be thy name means worship this father. The relationship we have with him must make you love to worship, to thank him, to praise him. Thy kingdom come is the next one. The next block is the next, is thy kingdom. It's about his kingdom. It's about the work of God. It's about the church. It's about praying about that. So when, when you are worshiping God, at least five minutes be there. 10 minutes before you realize, and we sing one song. There is none like you. You are the love of my life. You see, when you are, you are holy, holy, on your own. All that is within, hallowed be thy name. One, by the time you sing one or two songs, 10 minutes cry an echo. Then you come to praying about his kingdom. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All other things shall be added. Pray about the church. 
How come you come to pray only for yourself? Yourself hasn't come. The first is God himself and the second is his things, his kingdom, his rule, where his authority is. He said, if I am the finger of God, I cast out these demons, know that the kingdom of God is now upon you. It means that the kingdom of God has healing in it, power in it. Yes. Beautiful. The next chunk of prayer, the second, the third part is, he says, thy will be done. I will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So you pray, your will be done. He said, yes, you can do that every morning. If you can follow this formula every morning, you pray, it, it gives you a kind of, he said, what do I pray about when I start praying? I should pray about the kingdom of God, the work of God, pray for the church, pray for the choir, pray for the singers, pray for the uh, dancers, pray, pray for at the things of God in the church. Pray for souls that are won. Pray for the establishment. Pray that the church will be built. The church will be powerful. God will bless his house. There will be miracles in the church. All that is in the kingdom. And thy will be done. What God wills, you should pray about it. What does he want me to do? What does he want for my life? Pray about it. Before the next one becomes, the next section is, what? Give us this day our daily bread. That is your own needs now. It, calls, it talks about your, your own needs. Your bread. Your drink. Your marriage. Your car. Your house. The bills that must be fulfilled. The, what else? Your travel. Your daily visa. Your daily wife. Your daily husband. Your daily food. Your daily abenquai. You pray about that one. The God also wants, he wants you to also ask about those things. It's also in order. But I'm trying to tell you that long before you say, Lord, I need this, I need this, he's showing you that don't just come to God on the basis of give us this day our daily bread because his kingdom is there, his will is there, and also his, his name, his glory, and his honor, and his worship. Before my beloved... So when you stand to pray, sometimes you don't know what to pray, you don't know where to go. It's like, what do I say and what do I do? Jesus showed us what to do. He showed us what to do. And then from your daily bread, forgive us our debts. Forgiveness. Pray for forgiveness. We are born for what? Pray for, your, for, for forgiveness. For the things you say with your mouth. The things you think with your head. The things that are in your heart, which are rotten. Yes. The things that are in you, that are going to make you a very wicked person that you don't even know about yourself so you, you you have to pray forgive me my sins as i forgive those who trespass against that that's what will make you forgive other people because you are praying that my forgiveness is contingent on you forgiving me it's like it's based on god forgiving you if if, if you forgive others so if i have not forgiven others it's like i don't i don't deserve forgiveness so you see that if you are quiet with your beloved, you drop it. If you have quiet, so if you pray this prayer every day, eh, when you recite it, it doesn't enter your head. You, you, sometimes it's as if you don't know what you are praying about. Because you are bored with somebody and you are praying, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Meanwhile, you are not forgiven. Hmm? I want my prayers to be answered. Hey. Hmm? Hey. So, one tooth can come out. And you are praying, forgive me, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Pray against temptation is the next one. Lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into temptation. How many feel temptation all around you? Hmm? Or oh, you don't feel temptation? You don't smell temptation? You are not tempted in anything? Some of you, the are called holy child. No money. <laughs> holy child. And you need temptation. Be our own. What's the girls of way? Monty temptation. I trust you for one quantity temptation. Wow. She is secondary school. The temptations pride of pride. Temptations of fornication, adultery. Yes. That are even in your head. Yes. 
Ah, there are people that you have timed. Sagali. Minyanua. Sabrai. Dabe Bama Kwan. And then deliver us from evil. Accident is evil. Different, different evils. Bible says that put on the whole armor of God so that you'll be able to withstand in the evil day. Evil is all around us. There is something called the evil day. Maybe you are not aware that there's an evil day that comes on everybody. Not because you're a bad person. But it's just an evil day. Because of the world we live in. Somebody says, life happens. Life happens. Because all these things are... When God came and Adam had disobeyed him, he said, what is this that you have done? He was trying to tell him that, what you have done, eh, you are going to make evil come to the world. It will come on this one, come on this one, come on this one. Hey, Adam, what is this that you have done? It's in life that these things happen. I cannot immunize you from it, no matter how full of faith you are. That's why we the poor also experience such situations. And he has experienced pastors breaking away. Not because he's a bad person. Not because he's not a man of faith. But sometimes there's an evil day. When it comes, will you stand? And having done all, will you be able to stand still? There will be sad days. Yeah. There will be many sad days. When you don't know God well, you think that only people who have sinned have bad things happen to them. A person can be the most saintly of people, righteous than even Joseph. And yet, an evil day can chance upon him. But when it happens unto them, they don't break down. Like some of you want to kill yourself when a boy has disappointed you. Because you haven't prayed. You see, you have not prayed. One of the things in the armor is praying with all kinds of prayer and supplication in the spirit. You don't pray. When the evil day comes, you say you want to kill yourself. You have stopped the church. I'll marry again. Share. Evil day comes on everybody. Prophet told us the other day, he said, pray a lot in tongues. Because your, your tongue, when you speak in tongues, it covers areas that your mind cannot control. Pray about it. Ask your neighbor, are you going to pray? Are you going to pray against evil? Deliver us from evil. A driver has lost control. He's heading in your direction. It's evil. Yeah. May God deliver you from such evil. From drivers, drunk drivers. They can't determine the distances very well because they think it's far when the thing is near. Yeah. They can't tell the brakes from the accelerator. And they are heading in your direction. What are you going to do? Deliver us from evil. And then finally he says, Die. for thine is the kingdom. It's like you end your prayer also thanking him. In everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It's a formula. Sometimes two or three may not fall into that prayer time. But it's okay. It's not every day that you are going to follow this homiletical protocol. Because this protocol, if you follow it every day, it, sometimes you, 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 it, then you can't even go to work. Because sometimes you may see that it is the hallowed be thy name part that has captivated you for that morning. And then you just end. Sometimes you don't have to ask anything. It's not every day that I, I, I relate to Bishop that, that every day say, oh, I need this, or can I have this, or can this? Uh, no, 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 no. There's no need, there's no request there. Sometimes we just chat fellowship, we are just together, and then that's all. We talk about maybe the work that he, he's interested in, and then we, we leave. That's all. No need. 
Sometimes you, you come and you, after you have blessed his name and you have made one request about his will. That's okay. You finished. Throughout this fasting prayer, you must find yourself praying about your love for God, praying, worshiping God, praying about his kingdom, praying about his will, praying for your daily needs, praying to be delivered from temptation, forgiveness of sins, praying to be delivered from evil, and worshiping him. This formula, this type of things must characterize your prayer. And the more you pray them, the more prayerful you become. And the more power you experience in your life. God bless all of you. Stand to your feet, please. I'm coaching you in prayer. What? Coaching you in prayer. I just pray that you can follow it because it is a blessing. It's a real blessing. Young Gicho himself, most of his long hours of prayer are based on these things. Yeah. One of the most prayerful men of God you ever find. He used to say, use the Lord's prayer formula and come section one section two section three section four one two three four five six seven okay eight of them beautiful plus plus two eh? hey love pray to love god and your neighbor pray to love god is one pray to love your neighbor is number two yeah lift your hands Zima katori imanda la bahadiage, jele aruna se mahandele bigaradi. Rumi kabawa deli abara nihada aliana halinada. Ziede kaburi ahada. Hey my God, na hamba gada yagada gada. Thank you for teaching me to pray. Thank you for guiding me to stay in your presence. Thank you for showing me what to pray. Imazika balosada, imazaka balabasida ba, remasuka dalabahasa, imazeke lebasuda, ibalasanda lagababa. Lord, make us prayerful, O God. Make our church a prayerful church, O God. Make us prayerful individuals, O God. Remasanda gabalabaha, ibali masuda lababa, ikosa dalababa, ibasaka leyabasada ba, imosi dalababa. We are praying, oh God, that we will love you in our seeking you in the prayers, oh God. Anytime we wake up, Lord, may we find ourselves gravitating towards you. May we find ourselves always coming to you. May we find ourselves always drawing near to you. Your word says, oh God, that we should draw near to you and you will draw near to us, Lord. We are praying for a prayer life in this time, in this season of prayer, oh God. We are asking you, Lord, give us the grace of prayer. Give us the grace for supplication. Give us the grace to always come to you, Lord. Leave us Sadalabakaba. Why don't you lift up your voice and pray to God that He will give you the grace of prayer? He will give you the ability to rise up and always come to Him. Pray to God that you will always rise up early in the morning at 3 a.m., at 4 a.m., at 5 a.m. And you will always come to Him. You will always seek His face. The Bible says that He that seeks me shall find me. Lord, may we seek you. He that seeks Him will find Him. Are you praying? Pray in your understanding. Pray in tongues. Pray with your spirit. Pray with your understanding. Labadoria Bahanda Lava, Rema Cosande de Bedelimane, Randa Lava Coria Baba, Ena Leria Baboria Bashanda Lava, Napande de Bicabara Lava, Randa Lima Coria Baba, Seanda Lavadoria, Bragadaria. Blessed be God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thanks a million for your word. We pray for grace to do what you have instructed us oh, yes. to pray according to the pattern you showed us to pray to love the Lord with all our hearts all our souls 
and with all our strength. Thank you. Thanks a million. That though you are far from us, and though you don't need any of us, still you call on us to come to you. And so we pray for strength, for grace, to pray, to connect to God, to engage our God. Thank you for the blessing of prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. As every head is bowed and every eye closed, if you are here today, you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, I want to pray for you. Wherever you are, I want you to just lift up your right hand in the air so I can pray for you. Lift it up high. God bless you. God bless you. You want to give your life to Jesus. Pastor, pray for me. I want to be born again. And I want to be a serious Christian so I can pray all the time and relate with God closely. Wherever you are standing, lift up your right hand so I can pray for you. Maybe you join your friends to come to church today. I want you to lift your hand so I can pray with you to give your life to Jesus. If you have lifted your hand, please take a step and come to me right in front here. Oh, clap for them, they are coming. Clap for them, they are coming. God bless you. God bless you. Stand here. Stand here. Come quickly. Come quickly. God bless you. Come quickly. Come quickly. God bless you. could come into his presence without fear. your hands those of you in front here he said you could come into his presence without fear don't be afraid God loves you and he's going to change your life and make you a great person in this life father thanks for everyone that is here I pray that you will establish them in God and help them to know you reveal yourself to them show yourself strong on their behalf and let them draw closer to you. All of you here, lift your hands and say after me, Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. Please forgive me for all my sins and wash me with your precious blood. Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me. From today, I belong to Jesus. I will serve Jesus for the rest of my days. Please write my name. Please write my name in the book of life. Jesus Christ, I am yours forever. Amen. We believe the word of God has come to you and you have been blessed by this sermon. Subscribe to this channel and get notified about every video posted.